And snow hasn't been the only problem. The southeastern part of Kelloland started the day with rain. Intersections that are flooding do not call into Metro. This is Metro with an update for the road flooding. Metro's clear. Several intersections in Sioux Falls were flooded this morning. All of this flooding has kept first responders and street crews busy today. Now here's just one of the areas police and fire responded to for cars stalled in water. The cars were moved to higher ground so street crews could work on the intersection. Now here you can see a firefighter working near the curb with a shovel. One of the issues today was snow and ice blocking the storm drains. The street crews were out all day going along roads trying to unclog the drains. Kelloland's Max Hofer talked with the street department about the storm today. Max? Thank you, Kelly. It was a challenge to get around today in Kelloland, with snow, ice, and flooding making it difficult for the people and even the street crews to get around. Those with the street department say that the mixture of the large amounts of snow followed by the cold rain caused storm drains to freeze and water to collect. I would say the biggest challenge is just cutting those inlets back open because they are full of ice. Um, and so we have to designate uh, operators to that. But we also have to have operators out, uh, you know, de-icing um, and sanding the emergency routes. Hansen says the roads have improved since earlier this morning, but there are still some deep puddles in parts of the city. And coming up tonight at 10, I'll tell you more about how the street crews handled these conditions, and I talked to one driver about his experience.